Hey there, folks. I'm Zerfall. And I'm Old Dragon. And today we're going to be playing a little bit of Stellaris Multiplayer Edition. Indeed. I am playing as the Roach Clans. I'm playing as the Zerf Stellar Confederation. I've got uh, Direct Democracy. My ruler is Scuttlebutt. Species is Roach. And uh, I've gone for a Xenophile Fanatic Materialist. Now, I've got an enlightened monarchy going on here with the ruler Zur. Um, make sure you refer to them as that, um, <laughs> not him or her. And the species is Zerf. Um, and I've got a uh, fanatic collectivist, but also a pacifist. So I've got the enlightened monarchy going on here. Going for the uh, uh, increased core sectors, huh? <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and hit begin here so we can start. I am setting up my research. I think we'll go for the fusion missiles. Okay, let's uh, zoom out a little bit. I am roughly in between the Sibelis Shroud and the Weimar Drift. All right, the Sibelis Shroud is south of me, and the Weimar Drift is to the northeast. Okay, so I am probably uh, just to your east a little bit. Mm. Let me send out my uh, Corvettes and see if I can find you. Head up that way. All right, let's. Uh, do you want to go ahead and unpause, or do you want to? Uh, yeah, I think we're going to unpause. I'm going to check out my planet as we do that. Okay. Uh, we'll start out on normal speed and uh, just see what uh, happens, see if we want to uh, increase the speed or anything like that. This time I've got lots of food. I don't have as much, <laughs> which is okay. Oh, and I just had a new crown prince be born. I got some power. That's nice. I was like getting power. Just got to wait until... Uh, you guys start getting born. Hopefully I'll get some good stuff on my uh, system. Yeah, that's always... Uh, it always sucks when you get a system that just doesn't have much going on in it. I got a lot of gas giants, so hopefully I got something going on in them. Alright, I've discovered some alien vessels, the space amoebas. Interesting. Alone, please. Don't kill me. Updated. I came across two aliens at once. I think I might have... Uh, Let's see. Yep, I think I might have found you and maybe someone else. Uh, gas giant, uh, gas grazers, and maybe you. Probably. If right. they start suddenly going towards the sun, you'll know it's me. Oh man, so meta. Starting to research all of them. Was that in the uh, Yilion system? It was! Yep. Alright, I think I'm heading towards you then. Ah, uh, yes, you're up in Zol. Yep, it's like Sol, but with the Z. <laughs> How original. I'm going to stop by and say hi. Instantaneously declare war and uh, kill you. No, I mean... <laughs> oh, I found some even more aliens. I'm on Gamma aliens already. I kind of don't like how everything gets this uh, red tint now. I mean, not red, but uh, like the tint that uh, you oh, get Oh, whatever from... color star it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't really like that. That doesn't really make a lot of sense either, because it's not like the light from this star is going out into that nebula and then coming back with a tinted color to it. Oh, this, that must be you there. Okay, you got a nice little ball neck going on to defend yourself if it were to come to that. <laughs> send my uh, science ship over there to survey your stuff. <laughs> Try to find some uh, some, some anomalies in your own system. Sweet, sweet anomalies. That's going to be the fun part, is uh, finding anomalies in each other's systems and uh, <laughs> giving each other new stuff. Yeah, it's kind of funny how that, that's going to work. I should probably take a look at my leaders. Um... And in fact, I think I'm oh, like Delta Aliens. I should probably go start that up. 
course, it's going to mean that I'm not going to be getting much uh, research on my colonization tech. Mm hmm. Need to keep in mind what I'm uh, colonizing. Tropical. I do have. Uh... I do have one within my sphere of influence. Situation log updated. <laughs> so you're gonna have a bunch of mandates you're trying to do then if you have direct democracy. Um, I don't know. I mean, I was just kind of going for something a little bit. No, I've got happiness plus five percent and leader experience gain plus fifteen percent. Hmm. Those are the things that I went for. My leader has the traits Frontier Outpost Build Cost minus 15%, which is crap, and Architectural Sense Building Cost minus 15%. Uh, that is good. Mine's apparently the champion of the people, so I'm super happy complete. right now. And I can build more ships because I'm more like... Right, that so makes a lot of sense complete. for somebody that's the leader of a pacifist. Uh... Special project <laughs> complete. There we go. I have discovered you. Hunting them would be a net loss anyway. Ah, uh, see, I didn't have to research you because you discovered me. Yep. <laughs> uh, but that should mean that I got some extra influence. Ah, I see. Although it didn't seem like it said that. Uh, we've discovered someone to the south of us. They are on Anomaly continental found. world. Ooh. One of my uh, scientists has uh, Anomaly Discovery Chance plus 10%. Oh, that's good. And we have a 55% chance of, uh... Leave me for now. Let's, let's not go for that one. <laughs> <laughs> that is a level 3 anomaly. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be going for that one anytime soon. I'm surprised it would spawn, uh... Level 3. I guess it's totally random. Yeah, it is. Spork. So I see the Delta aliens to the south of us. Um, and research these. They're all knocked out. There's not a whole lot to build in my uh, system, unfortunately. I guess I will go ahead and build what I can. I can do two mining stations and a research station. Yeah, I've got three, Special four mining stations complete. and a research station, but I've also got not very many min minerals yet. All right, I've discovered the Great Yapathi Kingdom. And they are the Space Cats. Enlightened Monarchy, uh, Xenophile, Fanatic Pacifists. Cooperation will surely benefit us all. <laughs> this is a momentous occasion, because we are also Xenophiles. Everyone's out there meeting other species, and I'm just here enslaving my own population. <laughs> Hi, Apothy. Uh, let's see. Can I offer you a trade deal. You want to? Uh, you want some minerals? There you go. Have a mineral. Trying to trying to build up some trust there. Yeah. <laughs> Darn tootin'. I'm hoping that. I... I've read some bad articles about... Oh, and then I just met the Delta aliens. Um, I've read some, some bad accounts of people trying to make slave empires, and then and I've run into this myself System where survey, I just wanted everyone to be slaves in a, in a region, but it was a sector, and I didn't Special have the complete. Uh, influence to take it out of the sector. But, like, the governors will actually be like, no, if they're not mining minerals, there's no real point in having them be slaves. So instead, they were just wanting to revolt all the time. Like, no, if they're slaves, they don't care. <laughs> all right, my second system has a whole lot of bupkis. Two anomalies, which is nice, but uh, just got a system with uh, some physics research, which admittedly will be nice, but it is a colonizable world, but it's only size 12. It's kind of crummy. 
They've got a 17 and 18 near me. Which isn't too bad. Of the appropriate types? Uh, yeah, one is Arctic and the other is Arctic. And then I also have a tropical and a arid. You suck. <laughs> oh, and look over here, another Arctic. It's size Damn 16. It. <laughs> ah, I totally should have taken Continental. I see so many Continentals. Oh, man, they have the best breakfast. Actually, it's not that great, but it's free. And the Yapathi to the south of us are Continental, and they've got two Continental worlds within their system. One is 25! <laughs> God damn it! Special See, it's interesting because complete. I kind of thought about the idea of early game not getting communications with them too early in case there's a planet in there Situation you want to take, so you can just take the planet still before you know where their space borders are. Yeah, but they'll probably research you. Mm. you Got to be fast about it. I mean, if you have a, a colony ship ready to go, sure. Desert, Continental, and Tundra. Hmm. Where are all my, uh... Where are all my tropical worlds? You stole my tropical early. world. <laughs> Dinky size 12 one. Alright, we've almost got another uh, pop grown. Um... Let's go about, let's see about speeding that up a little bit. Updated. I got the Ada aliens. Oh, void clouds. Oh, well, that's fun. Still moving, right? Yeah. There is probably a good, ooh, a tomb world. Oh, I love tomb worlds. Oh man, I found I found the one Earth when I had all the um, had all the cockroaches on them, and I enlightened them, and then I used them as my Tomb World people. Ah, uh, I know. I always want to find that one. Special project complete. I have a feeling that I'm going to lose my uh, <laughs> Corvettes one of these days. <laughs> uh, let's find out how they evaluate Situation the sites. Updated. I suppose the good news is that I've got a crap ton of research in my systems. But man, that's going to chew into my... Uh, energy? Energy. There are two yeah. stars, like, directly next to each other here. Uh, to the north? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, I did see that uh, 1.2.1 uh, 1 .1 is uh, supposedly fixing the problem where they're losing the uh, visual height... Uh, information on reload so mm. oh yeah because if I view it from this angle it's not so bad it's just right there they were just like one <laughs> yeah uh, FYI there are al space aliens in both of those mm. amoebas and a void cloud actually you know what let's see what we can do um Actually, I think Active Sensor Link would give uh, each other all the survey data, which means uh, reduced chances for uh, anomalies. Yeah, we don't want that. Yeah, no, no. We want the anomalies. So what uh, uh, what weapons tech do you have? I went with missiles. Yeah, um, I did as well. I tried using the the kinetic weapons the one time System it really survey. didn't seem like it was doing that great for me because my guys had to get up so close before they were doing stuff it'd be like I'd lose like a ship or two before I even got in there actually I might have now that I think about it I think I went for uh, kinetic no I did I went for missiles never mind and I have fall, found a fallen empire the Uthonium Continuum cooperation will surely benefit us all they are hovering um, jellyfish. Hmm. Ooh. Some minerals. Let's go build a mining station down there. All 
Alright, I think I want to clear some of the, uh... Cannot afford to clear that. Mm -hmm. Uh, guys, I'm not sure exactly where you're trying to go right now, but, uh... You, you, you can't go that way. <laughs> Ah, you're about to find them, too. They're just to the uh, east of that. Oh, I'm wrapping around some other way, so I don't know if I'll bump into them. No, you, you're you literally about to go into their system. If you keep going that way. Yep, you just went into their system. Ah, uh -huh. no access! Oh, there's xenophiles, too. Oh good, I didn't even uh, look at that. Yep, they're the Enigmatic Observers. Good, at least that means that they won't uh, do too much to us. Well, they might do things to you useful. if you are slavers. To, to be... well, at least I'm a pacifist. Uh, yeah, but I'm only slavers of my own kind right now. That's okay, isn't it? I guess? <laughs> you, can't, you can't judge us. Oh, they can totally judge you. Construction yeah, okay. complete. Bunch of jerks. Motel has finished its surface construction queue. Let's go get some more food. I cannot afford another hydroponics farm. I need more minerals. I do have a system with minerals in my uh, space. That's something, I guess. Yeah, I'm starting to find a lot of research... Uh type of planets and not a lot of I haven't hit a single anomaly anomaly eh. anomaly yet I think I have just the two yeah oh don't tell me that the system is going to have nothing in it alright well to be fair I have only surveyed a few of the planets good I suppose that's uh... ah, I found one 22% risk. Eh, it's nothing to compare to the 55% uh, risk that <laughs> I have. 55% and 20%. Oh man, that guy's pretty far away from leveling up too. My guys level up a little bit faster. Unfortunately, two of my... Well, I mean, two of my guys are uh, leader experience gains, so that's not too bad. Ooh, I've got a Spark of Genius. Nice. That's pretty sweet. Alright, finished a mining station. So I'm getting more minerals. Excellent. Yeah, and some more uh, energy up here. That's pretty sweet. I'd like to find more minerals, though. I suppose I could actually build the mineral thing, but... Eh. Not yet. Hmm. I think I will go after the uh, energy over here, though. Once I have the cash for it. What? My stupid scientist didn't survey one of the places in my home sector. <laughs> it's clearly his fault and not mine. Actually, I'm pretty sure when I right-clicked, I put survey system, not... Did you pull them off early or something? Uh, maybe by mistake, as I was setting up the Special project complete. Nice stuff. Oh, we found somebody else. The Zaplo. Stagnant Special Ascendancy. Project complete. Situation log updated. Oh, you found another uh, fallen empire? Yeah. Uh oh. It's pretty much directly to the situation log updated. Uh, west of the other one, by about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, seven systems. So it basically completely cuts off our uh, access north. Well, we can go up through the middle there and get around him. Oh, okay. It's far enough to the side. Actually, he's far enough to the side that there's two roads to the north. We need it, or up spin, I guess. Yeah, whatever. I'm not sure if we can tell what the spin is. 
<laughs> get, get, get out of here, guys. Get out of there. They're, they're space mutants. Move it. Okay, they're moving. Hmm. Well, that's about uh, it for this episode, I think. Let's go ahead and pause it. Yes, I got lucky enough to just get a great... Uh, I got like a new modifier here on my empire. Oh, nice. What'd you get? The prismatic lenses. From uh, being a pacifist when I discovered the uh, crystalline entities, instead of being able to survey a system instantly, I can just get plus 10% physics output. You suck. For my whole empire! For how long? Forever! Seriously? I thought it's they an empire of... modifier. I don't know. It doesn't have a uh, expiry date on it. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll ha you'll ha you guys will have to tune in uh, to future episodes to see if that does stick around. See I'm you next fall. time, everyone. I'm All Dragon. We'll see you later. <laughs>